So let's have a look at Nessus. Developed by Tenable Network Security is one of the most popular and capable vulnerability scanners. Nessus Professional is a commercial product. In addition, a free Nessus Home version is also available, though it's limited and only licensed for home network use. Nessus allows scans for the following types of vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities that allow a remote hacker to control or access sensitive data on a system. Misconfiguration, for example, open mail relay, missing patches, etc. Uh, default passwords, a few common passwords, and blank or absent passwords on some system accounts. Nessus can also call Hydra, an external tool, to launch a dictionary attack. Denials of service against the TCP IP stack by using malformed packets. In preparation for PCI DSS audits. Now, in a typical operation, Nessus begins by doing a port scan to determine which ports are open on the target, and then tries various exploits on the open ports. The vulnerability tests available as subscriptions are written in NASL, Nessus Attack Scripting Language, a scripting language optimized for custom network interaction. Nessus is constantly updated with more than 70,000 plugins. Key features include remote and local authenticated security checks, a client-server architecture with a web-based interface, and an embedded scripting language for writing your own plugins or understanding the existing one. Optionally, the results of the scan can be reported in various formats, such as plain text, XML, HTML, and LaTeX. Now, Nessus is not embedded into Kali, so let's download it to install and use in our Kali. Open the browser and search for Nessus Home Download in Google. I think you already know that Nessus Home is the name of the free version of Nessus. So discard the ads. The, uh, the first link is Tenable's Nessus homepage. We need an activation code to use Nessus Home, and we have to register for an activation code. So you'd better register with your exact names and email addresses. Since I have previous registrations, I'd like to register with a public name and mail address. Ethical Hacker is the name and surname. Ethic Hack at yopmail.com. Click register when you're okay. Now the next page is where you can find the download link for Nessus Home. The page says that an email containing my activation code has been sent to my email address. So let's open a new tab and look to see if we've got the activation code. I go to yopmail.com slash ethic hack, which is the URL address of ethic hack at yopmail.com email address. And here's the email with the activation code. Now go back to the home page of Nessus and click download. Here's a list of the binaries of Nessus home. Our Kali is a 64-bit Debian, so I'm going to click and download this one. And save the file. Now let's install the packet that we downloaded. I go back to the browser to see the location to where the file has been downloaded. It's downloaded in the Downloads folder. Now open a terminal screen and go to the folder using cd command. To install the packet, use dpkg, Linux command with i parameter, and last, type the file name. Remember, you can use the tab key to complete the file name and hit enter. The installation is completed within a few seconds. Now let's look at the messages. It says we should start the Nessus D daemon to start Nessus Home. And then we can connect to the web interface of Nessus, which will be served at port 8834. This is the default port of Nessus Home's interface. So use the service command to start the Nessus D daemon. First, I want to look at its status. It's inactive at the moment. Type service Nessus D start to start Nessus D daemon. Now, let's look at the ports of our Kali, which 
happen to be in listen mode. Use the netstat command with TNLP parameters. And here it is. Port 8834 is being listened to by Nessus D. Now we can access Nessus Home's web interface. So go to the browser and type 127.0.0.1 colon 8843 and hit enter. As you know, 127.0.0.1 stands for the local host. You can use the IP address of your colleague instead. It doesn't matter. Whoops! Nessus service is an HTTPS service. So we have to use HTTPS at the beginning of our URL. So our browser says that the connection is not secure because the local certificate of Nessus is not registered by a CA, a certificate authority. No worries. Click Advanced and then Add Exception and click Confirm Security Exception. And here's the first interaction with Nessus Home's web interface. So the next step is to set up Nessus Home. First step is to create an account. Select a username for yourself and add a password. Click Continue. The next screen asks the scanner type and the activation code, which has been sent to our email address while we were downloading the Nessus Home's installation packet. Here are the scanner types. We'll use Nessus Home, so leave the first option selected. Now I go to the email sent by Nessus and copy the activation code and paste it into the related field. Then click Continue. As soon as setup is complete, Nessus downloads and initiates the latest plugins, which will be used in the scans by Nessus. First, it downloads the plugins according to your connection speed. Now, it may take a few minutes, so be patient. Now it's compiling the plugin. This step may take longer than the download step, so you might want to go and grab yourself a cup of coffee. And there it is. The initialization phase is complete. Welcome to the Nessus interface.